Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm just a casual sim racer. Today I'll be reviewing Drift 21. I reviewed this game while using my Thrustmaster T300 and Fanatec CSL Elite pedals with load cell. As normal for my reviews, all settings for the wheel and game's force feedback was left on default. Drift 21 is a game developed by ECC Games and published by 505 Games. It was released on June 10th, 2021. As the name indicates, this game is about drifting, and also only about drifting. The game does include one notable unique feature, however, and that is the garage mode. With more than 1,800 replaceable components available in the garage mode, customizing and upgrading your cars is the most unique and interesting part of the game. Installing the parts is animated very well, and if you are looking for a car mechanic experience that also includes the ability to drive the car, and don't mind that it's just limited to drifting, then I think Drift 21 might be a game that you should check out. Drift 21 lacks artificial intelligence competitors completely. Though the game does have specific scores you're supposed to meet in order to progress through the career mode and in order to successfully complete challenges. Therefore, I won't be giving Drift 21 an absolute zero, but it only scores a one in this category. Drift 21 has five multiplayer modes online, though you will almost only find players doing free drifting, so no online competition really. Typically, there is at least one server active with a handful of players. You may experience a lot of lag during online play, I, I sure did, especially depending on the server location, which there won't be that many choices because there's not that many servers online, typically only one, maybe two. The online aspect of the game receives a thumbs down from me because it's a low amount of users and the lack of competitive championship modes or an online ranking system. Drift 21 receives a 3 rating for its online experience. Drift 21's graphics and visuals got a thumbs up from me. The graphics are as expected for a modern game with nice detailed car models along with interiors. The parts you will interact with during the workshop mode are detailed and the part installation animations impressed me. In contrast, the audio side of things let the game down. I found the sound grating in many of the cars, with the sound balance needing a lot of fiddling before I could even tolerate driving the cars. Even once I got it balanced out, I was not impressed by the sound quality of the game. The engine and the loud tire squeal are the overwhelming sounds you will hear in the game. It would have been nice for there also to have been some ambient sounds, and overall just more refined detail in the game's sound as a whole. I give the game a 5 when it comes to audio visuals, because although the graphics are solid, the sound is relatively poor. The tracks in Drift 21 are recreated using laser scan technology, with 13 tracks in total in the game. I found the tracks to be well done, though they are mostly very small tracks and many feel repetitive in nature. A few of the official Ibisu tracks do stand out. There are 12 different cars from 5 different official brands included in the game. These cars are Mazda, Nissan, Subaru, Ford, and BMW. All of these cars can be fully customized, down to the cooling tubes running between the engine and the radiator. Additionally, the game includes a fully featured paint booth. Drift 21 has seven different single player game modes, including Quick Race, Sandbox, Free Ride, Solo Run, Time Attack, Gymkhana, and a Career Mode. And as mentioned earlier, there are five multiplayer modes. These include free ride, free for all, sprint, laps, and tandems. The game purely focuses on the drifting experience, and there are no other driving uh, modes or aspects of the game. I think Drift 21 will tap into a certain audience, especially with the garage mode, but it just seemed rather lacking to me in overall content outside of the garage. My initial impression gave the game a 5, the replay value of the game's content is lacking, but I did end up bumping up my rating by one point for the innovative and in-depth features included in the garage mode. Drift 21 receives a score of 6 for its included game content. The game only supports Fanatec, Logitech, and Thrustmaster wheels. This is roughly 90% of the market, but it is still something that should be clearly noted to those interested in driving the game with a wheel, which is of course why almost all of you are watching this video. Overall, in my opinion, the game just doesn't have that consistent appeal to me, outside of the garage mode. And even in regard to the garage, I found it fun for a couple hours of play, but Drift 21 just fails to hook me, and I don't desire to keep returning back to the game. I think there's a lot of promise for the developers to expand upon this concept, I'm just not sure they hit the nail on the head this time. 
Overall, my recommendation is a 4. In terms of physics, the game falls into the more serious side of the Simcade category. The driving experience itself is reasonably well put together, and you will have to develop your skills in the game in order to feel more comfortable stringing together massive drifts. The driving physics, though Simcade, don't eliminate the feeling of growth and the opportunity to master certain cars and tracks. The force feedback is nothing special, and although it gives a good feel of what the car is doing while out on track, it lacks the detail and only provides the general knowledge of what the car is doing, and as a result it's just not very immersive. Even though the game does communicate leaving the road surf nicely, that's one of the more simple things to communicate in the force feedback. The biggest issue, however, is that the combination of force feedback and physics sometimes communicate strange behavior of the cars that I sure don't find realistic, especially when near the edge of traction. Overall, I give the driving experience a 4. Drift 21 received a score of 1 for the AI, 3 for online play, a 5 for the game's audiovisuals, 6 for the game's content, 4 for my recommendation of the game, and finally, a 4 for the driving experience. Overall, after punching those numbers into my rating algorithm, I can award Drift 21 an overall score of 41. This concludes my review of Drift 21 by ECC Games. I encourage you all to comment down below. If you've already purchased Drift 21, what has your experience with the game been like? And if you haven't already purchased the game, are you considering it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed and help to support this channel. I'll catch you all in the next video, and until then, have a great rest of your week.